Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our literature unit for today,、mm-hmm. and it's going to be our literature unit tomorrow and the next day as well. And the featured work of literature that we're going to be talking about is Anne of Green Gables: An Orphan's Imagination and Ambition. I've heard of this story before, and I believe it's also been made into movies. Yeah, it's pretty popular. It's a classic, as we like to say.、Um, we'll use classic to talk about books and even songs sometimes, cars, movies. But yeah, this is one of the classics, though, that I never read as a little girl. Uh oh. Kind of surprised because I was a big reader.、Um, did you ever read it growing up, Tom? Uh, no. Uh, to, at the risk of sounding sexist, this sounds like a chick novel. It's a girl's Some, book. A little yeah, girl's something、book. guys probably wouldn't like to read. We like to read science fiction and adventure、mm. novels, car races, and stuff like that. But、uh, what the heck? This is all about relationships and about this、uh, young girl who has a few problems. Growing up as a child, so let's find out what this is all about. Everybody, in the first part of our lesson, we're going to summarize our featured work of literature. So let's get to it. Let's read the entire contents of today's lesson now, one time. In the mid 1870s, in the rural town of Avonlea, Prince Edward Island, Canada, Marilla Cuthbert and her brother Matthew decide to adopt an orphan boy. The elderly siblings need a young man's help around their farm, Green Gables. However, instead of a boy, the orphanage sends a talkative, red-headed, eleven-year-old girl named Anne Shirley. Anne's life has been difficult and lonely, so she's excited to finally have a real home and family. Initially, the Cuthberts intend to send her back to the orphanage. Charmed by her imaginative and generous spirit, though. They decide against this. Anne has only had imaginary friends before, but she soon becomes popular. Her neighbor Diana becomes her bosom friend. Anne has a good heart and means well, but she frequently gets into scrapes over the years. For example, she tries to color her red hair with black hair dye, but in the end, it turns out green. Even worse, she accidentally gets Diana drunk by serving her wine. Instead of raspberry cordial, at school Anne is teased by a classmate Gilbert and strives to surpass him in academic achievement. Miss Stacy, her beloved teacher, encourages her to attend Queen's Academy, a school for teachers. At Queen's, Anne and Gilbert lay their old rivalry to rest and become close friends. Anne works hard and wins a full scholarship to Redmond College. To earn a university degree, while Anne is home for the summer, Matthew has a heart attack and dies. Anne gives up the scholarship and works as a teacher, so Marilla doesn't have to sell Green Gables. Despite this stroke of bad luck, Anne is content with her decision and looks optimistically toward her future. Hi everybody! So we're going to get started talking about the plot of Anne of Green Gables. If you're wondering what a gable is, it's、um, a triangular part of a roof where parts of a roof—they're calling the wall of the roof—but、uh, parts of the roof come together. But it's a gable. Anne of Green Gables—that's actually where、um, she ends up, and their farm is actually named Green Gables. Indeed. So this, of course, is the name of their farm, Green Gables. And maybe back in the day, that's what they called their farms, especially if you lived in Canada there. But、uh, let's look at the first paragraph here in today's lesson. It says, "In the mid 1870s, in the rural town of Avonlea, Prince Edward Island, Canada, Marilla Cuthbert and her brother Matthew decide to adopt an orphan boy." So this is happening in the 19th century, in the 1800s. The mid 1870s, maybe a decade or two after the American Civil War ended, and we are up in Canada here. As you know, Canada has different provinces, and Prince Edward Island is actually a province in Canada. 
、Uh, it's in the eastern part of Canada there, and it's very small, but it's still a province. And there's a town there called Avonlea, although that's a fictional town. The real town of Avonlea does not exist, but this is where this takes place in a small rural town in the country. It's a really beautiful area. Canada itself is quite a lovely country if you can tolerate cold, which I know a lot of our listeners don't like. But it's beautiful, especially in the summer. Marilla Cuthbert and her brothers. So these are siblings. They're not married, and they're running this farm, and they need more help. So they think, hmm. Let's adopt an orphan boy and put him to work. So they're elderly,、uh, which means they're probably at that point、uh, maybe in their sixties.、Uh, back then, people didn't live as long as they do now. Sixties kind of young these days, but back then they were probably needing a little bit more help、uh, with the the more difficult tasks that required a lot of labor and and muscles. So they go to、um, adopt an orphan boy. If you're an orphan, you've lost your parents. Typically, the parents have died, but not always.、Uh, other things can happen, but、uh, usually you're taken in by. Um, a church group that runs an orphanage.、Uh, that's where orphan kids stay and grow up. And if you're lucky, you get adopted later. And if you're not lucky, you stay there until you're eighteen, and then you leave. Indeed. So again, as you said, this is an elderly couple—、uh, not a couple, excuse me, siblings, brother and sister—and they hire this、uh, orphan boy. Well, that's what they want to do. And the elder siblings need a young man's help. Of course, they're getting old and on and on in years and stuff. So instead of a boy, however, the orphanage sends a talkative, red-headed, eleven-year-old <laughs> girl named Anne Shirley. So I guess they were out of boys at the orphanage. So they sent a girl instead. Maybe they won't. Notice or something, or well, girls work just as hard as boys. What the heck? What's the difference? So again, you mentioned an orphanage here, of course, where orphans live. And this、uh, girl has quite an interesting personality. She's talkative. She's a chatty Kathy, as we say. She likes to talk. She's redheaded, which is kind of rare,、uh, even in Western countries. And she's quite young, eleven years old. And of course, her name is Anne. Hence, Anne of Green Gables. Now, here in the next sentence, it's. Says Anne's life has been difficult and lonely, so she's excited to finally have a real home and family. Yeah, she's a really cute girl. That's one thing I remember always sticking with me. When you'd see the cover, she looked like she was laughing and skipping along. And even the、uh, the TV shows they've done, the movies, the musical they did a musical in 1964.、Uh, the girl that、uh, plays that part has a fun personality. So even though they were probably disappointed at getting a boy. She comes to their house and makes everything a lot more lively.、Um, I know here everybody likes to say, "Oh,、uh, people are hen hu pu," but but then、um, people were a little bit more quiet back then. So to have a really talkative girl who has a lot of liveliness in her would be a little in, unusual. And as Tom said, to have red hair. Is still unusual, so she's redheaded. You notice we use that as an adjective. So her last name is Shirley, not Green Gables. I've heard people say Anne Green Gables. No,、mm-hmm. <laughs> Anne of Green Gables, the farm. So you know that when you live in an orphanage, if you've ever watched any TV shows or movies, it's a sad life. A lot of the kids just don't get enough love,、um, and they sometimes have. Mean people running the orphanage. We hope that that wasn't Anne Shirley's、uh, circumstance, but、uh, I'm sure she's happy to go to a real home. She must be indeed. She's excited, and initially, or at the beginning, the、mm-hmm. Cuthberts intend to send her back to the orphanage. Hey, we didn't want a girl. We like girls.、Uh-oh. They're nice.、Uh, you know what? What are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and everything nice. We like girls and stuff. But we wanted a boy. But of course,、uh, she charmed them. It says charmed by her imaginative and generous spirit. Though they decide against this,、mm-hmm. so they, you know, she grew on them, as、Good. we say. 
、uh, they liked her, so they thought, "Hey, we can't send her back. She's imaginative, and she has a generous spirit. Imaginative means you have a lot of imagination. You're always thinking of things,、uh, coming up with stories, maybe drawing pictures or whatever. So she's imaginative. Imagination is the noun. There, you have a vivid imagination. If you are imaginative, and so because she, she's also generous, they decide, "Hey, we can't send her back. She's a breath of fresh air for our farm." You know, this is kind of、uh, interesting. I have a couple of different clients who, instead of saying,、um, "I imagine something is going to happen," they'll say, "I image." Be、oh, careful、no. and not、Ooh. confuse those verbs. I've actually had more than just the two of them. I've heard it, so be careful. So to imagine something in your mind, you see it in your head. You see it in your mind. You can create a picture in your mind. She was imaginative. They were charmed by her, which means she was charming. And if you're charmed by someone, someone has a great personality, and you really come to like them. And also, if you have a generous spirit, you're very giving. So she's always willing to help.、Uh, she has two cookies. She probably gives you. One of them. She's a good kid, so they decide to keep her, and so that's nice. She'll get to stay at Green Gables. We're going to take a quick break, guys. Listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back to continue. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. From today 开始，连续三天，我们都要介绍一本很棒的小说。它的名字叫做《Anne of Green Gables》，中文翻译成为《清秀佳人》。首先呢，我们来看到在第一段中间的句子写着 ：“The elderly siblings need a young man's help around their farm.” Green Gables 在这里提到小说的场景，讲到这对上了年纪的兄妹呢，需要一名年轻男子在他们的农场上来帮忙。However, instead of a boy, the orphanage sends a talkative, red-headed, eleven-year-old girl named Anne Shirley. However, 在这里用语气的转折，要的是男孩。然而呢，并不是男孩送来的，则是一个非常健谈的红发十一岁女孩。我们来看一下句子里面的 orphanage 这个字。Orphanage 名词解释成为孤儿院，当然喽 ，orphan 也就是孤儿的意思。举例来说，那个男孩在六岁的时候成了孤儿，你就可以说 ，The boy became an orphan at six. 在这样的场景之下呢，他们没有把这个 Anne Shirley 给送走，反而呢，就因为这个 Anne Shirley 的特质而接受了他。在第一段的最后一句提到 ，Charmed by her imaginative and generous spirit, though they decide against this. 这里的 this 解释成为前面一句后面所提到的 to send her back to the orphanage. 他们后来决定不这么做了，原因是什么呢？ Charmed by her imaginative and generous spirit, charm 解释成为使陶醉，他们被他这样子特质给吸引了。什么特质呢 ？Imaginative 在这里是有富有想象力的、有创造力的意思，而 generous 则是指慷慨大方。And Shirley 非常的有丰富的想象力，又慷慨大方，因为这样的特质吸引了。这一对上了年纪的兄妹，所以就把他留了下来。我们再回来看 imaginative 这个形容词，它是一个很重要的形容词。我们举个例子来说，我们常说啊，会讲故事人的头脑呢是非常富有想象力的。我们就可以说 ，the mind of the storyteller has great imaginative powers. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue with today's lesson. We're talking about Anne of Green Gables.、Uh, she's been adopted, I guess,、mm -hmm. by the Cuthberts, and they're all going to live together. 
at Green Gables there on Prince Edward Island. Now Anne has only had imaginary friends before, but she soon becomes popular. Remember, she's an she's an orphan from an orphanage, so she probably wasn't terribly close to the people in the orphanage. So she has imaginary friends, but、uh, you know that doesn't mean she's psycho or anything. Maybe she's just lonely or something. But、uh, when she gets to Green Gables, she soon becomes popular. She makes a lot of friends.、Uh, she is imaginative and she's very generous as well. So she probably makes friends easily. Her neighbor Diana becomes her bosom friend. Now this term here, bosom friend, means her close friend. And as Stephanie and I were mentioning before the program started, we thought, hey, the term we use is bosom buddy. That's more common than this. Although this is a correct term, but、uh, bosom buddy is more common. At least we think so. Right. So your your bosom is your chest. It usually refers to a woman's chest. So bosom buddy, it's like you've got them right there in your heart. You're just great friends. You'll often hear, especially Americans, say, "Oh, we're buddies. We go way back," which means you've been friends for a long time. Oh, they're bosom buddies. Usually, you just have two people who are bosom buddies, but、uh, I guess you get to have more than that. But you're really, really close friends if you're bosom buddies. So she is. Really fortunate to have a neighbor that close that she really likes. Anne has a good heart and means well, but she frequently gets into scrapes over the years. I think because she has this great imagination, she comes up with things to do that ultimately, at the end, get her into trouble. Although she wasn't trying to do something naughty to begin with. If you mean well. It sometimes means what you did didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, but your intentions, what you thought you were doing, was actually quite nice.、Uh, maybe you、um, wanted to make some cookies for a friend, and you you bring the cookies over, but you find out later that your friend is diabetic. They're not supposed to eat sugar. Well, you still have a good heart. You meant well, but they couldn't eat them. They had to give them away. Right, so yeah, she's not、uh, trying to hurt people.、No. She means well. She wants people to be happy, but she frequently gets into scrapes or arguments or disagreements over the years. Has conflicts with people, even though she means well. For example, she tries to color her red hair with black hair dye, <laughs> but in the end, it turns out green. Now, now that would be normal in modern society. No one would、uh, no. think that's strange. But back in the 1870s, <laughs> that would have turned heads. People would have thought, "What are you doing with green hair? What is wrong with you?" <laughs> so she tried to dye her red hair using black hair dye, and it turned out green. Dye, of course, D-Y-E here is a noun. It could also be a verb. That just means to try to change the color of something as a verb. If you're using dye, which is like a set of chemicals or something,、uh, I used to go to the supermarket to buy dye to dye my T-shirts different、mm-hmm. colors. They、yeah. were boring as White T-shirts, so I dyed them purple or red or whatever. I even did tie-dye shirts. That's kind of fun. But、uh, indeed, she used black hair dye to change her hair color. Yeah, I wanted to mention for you out there that are into、um, dyeing your hair. If you go darker, you use the verb dye, d-y-e. But if you go lighter, we say bleach. So don't use bleach if you're going to dye your hair red.、Um, you're going to go. Uh, bleach your hair if you're going silver, gray, blonde. Yeah, she bleaches her hair blonde.、Uh, dye your hair is a darker color.、Uh, even where she accidentally gets Diana drunk by serving her wine instead of raspberry cordial. I don't know what a cordial is because I don't drink. Do you know what that is, Tom? A、uh, cordial can be some kind of alcoholic beverage, but、oh. it can also be、uh, some kind of drink. That is not alcoholic. It's kind of a confusing here.、Uh, it can be like、huh. a sort of medicine, basically. If you use、uh, strawberries or something and try to make a medicine. Oh, for British, it means a sweet fruit-flavored drink. Okay, that's the British、oh, usage here. Okay.、Uh, I would say cordial in American English probably means some kind of alcoholic drink. But、uh, she gets her drunk by serving her wine. But she meant to serve her this raspberry juice. I guess、right. you could say cordial <laughs> could be juice, at least in British American. English, perhaps in Canadian American, excuse me, Canadian English 
、uh, as an alternative there. So in the next paragraph here, it says, "At school, Anne is teased by a classmate, Gilbert, and strives to surpass him in academic achievement." So in school, sometimes we have bullying. Teasing is not as bad as bullying. Maybe、yeah. they call you names or something, but they're still not trying to, you know, break your spirit or anything like that, or beat you up or something. But、uh, you know, it's still kind of bad. But oh, people... sometimes guys tease girls though if they have a crush on them. That's、True. how they get the girl's attention. They'll tease. So if your friends are teasing you, sometimes it just means they love you. <laughs> uh, it could be indeed, and of course,、uh, she kind of、uh, responds by try- trying to do better than him.、Good. To surpass just means to do better than someone.、Mm-hmm. She tries to get better grades than he has. Miss Stacy, her beloved teacher, encourages her to attend Queen's Academy,、mm-hmm. a school for teachers. And Miss Stacy sees some potential in Anne and says, "Hey, you should go to this school for teachers. It's called Queen's Academy, an academy." Academy is like a special kind of school、uh, for people with special skills. You could go to a police academy, for example, if you want to be a policeman. Yeah, so it's a place you can train or study for a particular field. So here she was going to study to be a teacher. Now at Queens, Anne and Gilbert lay their old rivalry to rest. When you lay something to rest, it just means you let it go. You don't keep carrying on this rivalry. If you have a rivalry with someone, it means You have someone you're always competing against. It's kind of fun sometimes if you're.、Uh, it's a friendly rivalry, then it's okay. So it's a competition to see who's the best in something. So they lay it to rest, or they stop competing so much, and again become close friends. Anne works hard and wins a full scholarship to Redmond College to earn a university degree. A full scholarship pays not only for tuition but also for your room and board, which refers to your apartment. And the food that you'll be eating—that's a great scholarship. Now, while Anne is home for the summer, Matthew has a heart attack and dies.、Uh, if you'll re- recall, Matthew is the brother that adopted her with his sister Marilla. So sadly, he passes away. That's really sad, though. Oh no!、Yeah. Terrible. Okay, remember these are elderly siblings、yeah. here. So、uh, he passes away as a result of a heart attack, which is quite tragic. And Anne gives up the scholarship and works as a teacher, so Marilla doesn't have to sell Green Gables. So Marilla's brother's gone now; he's dead, and it's probably hard for her to keep the farm. So Anne decides not to go to school, and she stays at the farm, and I guess in the neighborhood there or、mm-hmm. in the town, and works as a teacher there、uh, to make some money to help save the farm. And despite this stroke of bad luck, Anne is content with her decision and looks optimistic. Toward her future. So, of course, we got a stroke here. Stroke can mean、uh, several things as a、mm-hmm. noun. Stroke could be jungfeng as a disease.、Uh, I had a roommate in college who had a stroke before, and he was、uh, paralyzed in part of his body、yeah. because of a stroke. But here, stroke just means、uh, kind of、uh, something that happens to you. Basically, a stroke of bad luck. You could have a stroke of good luck, just an occurrence or a happening of bad luck or an, a happening of good luck.、So So this stroke of bad luck is bad, but even though she had this bad luck, she's still content, which means she's still satisfied. Yeah, I would say here stroke is more of a measure word. You know, I'll have a loaf of bread. This is a stroke of bad luck because、uh, you can't make bad luck、uh, plural. You can't say, "Oh, I've had a lot of bad lucks." No.、Mm. So Anne is content. Notice this is not content.、Mm. If you're content as an adjective, and it just means you're satisfied, you're happy with your life, your your circumstances, and she's actually okay, even though she gave up her full scholarship.、Um, she's probably happy because she's helping people she loves, who brought their brought her into their home, and she looks optimistically toward her future. Optimistically is an adverb,、uh, but the adjective optimistic just means someone who always looks on the bright side. You know, if they're in a bad situation, they look for the good.、Uh, you can be optimistic. In the middle is realistic, and then you can be pessimistic. Someone who's always negative is pessimistic. So she's very optimistic. I'm not surprised because. 
Earlier, we described her as having a really generous spirit. She's always happy and、uh, and loves her friends and family. So that's pretty much the story in a nutshell.、Yeah. There, so you have the summary there, but、uh, we still suggest you read this book for yourself. You might enjoy it. And next time we'll come back to talk about the author herself. But right now we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher. 接着我们来看到第二段中间的句子写着 ，Anne has a good heart and means well, but she frequently gets into scrapes over the years. 在这里提到 Anne 的心地非常的善良，而且呢 means well。如果我们提到 mean well， 指的就是心存好意的意思。举个例子来说 ，He meant well and didn't intend to hurt you。解释成为他原本是好意，并没有打算要伤害你的。而回到这里 ，Anne 有个好心肠，但是有时候呢，他常常呢会陷入困境。第三段的第一句提到。At school, Anne is teased by a classmate, Gilbert, and strives to surpass him in academic achievement. 在学校呢，她则是被一个叫做 Gilbert 的同学常常呢被他戏弄，把被他欺负，所以他很努力的在学业成就方面要胜过他。Surpass 就是有胜过或优于的意思。我们常常可以用 in 来加上在哪个方面胜过其他人。举例来说，他在数学方面超过了他的兄弟。She surpassed her brother in mathematics， 而他也希望能够在 academic achievement 学业的表现上可以胜过这位常常欺负他的同学 Gilbert。中间的句子提到 ，At Queens, Anne and Gilbert lay their old rivalry to rest and become close friends. 后来到了皇后学院呢，这两位就放下他们昔日的竞争，而成为关系亲密的朋友。我们来看一下这个字 ，rivalry， 解释成为竞争或者是对抗。与某人有对抗、竞争，我们可以加上 with。举个例子来说，公司间的竞争是越来越激烈了。你就可以说 ，rivalry among business firms grew more intense. 不过，他们则是 lay something to rest， 把它放下来，终止这样子的仇恨，成为关系亲密的朋友。今天文章的最后一句提到 ，despite this stroke of bad luck。Anne is content with her decision and looks optimistically toward her future. 虽然呢，这个 Matthew 因为心脏病发作而过世，发生这样子的不幸的事件，但是他还是呢，对于他的决定要留下来当老师这样的决定感到满意。Content 在这里当做形容词，有满足的、满意的意思，而且对他的未来呢，是以非常乐观跟积极的态度来面对他。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。That's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and please join us again next time when we actually talk about the author of Anne of Green Gables, Lucy Maud Montgomery. Until then, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.